to our protocol preview in preparation for our 71st biennial convention in sunny Southern California this June. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Julie Stonehouse and I am your protocol chair for this convention. And this is what I look like in case you need to find me at convention. I think of the job of protocol chair as being an overseer of tradition and details and sometimes herding people into lines on time. Um, I am a parent of three teenagers slash young adults now, and by day I am an elementary school teacher. So I am accustomed to juggling schedules and coordinating groups, and I can turn on the teacher voice when necessary. Um, and I'm very happy to be returning to this convention in this role again. I've included my email address and my cell phone number here, as you can see. Um, so that you can reach me either before or during convention, should you need to. So tonight, our agenda is pretty straightforward. We'll be covering some basic information about regalia. That's what you'll be wearing for business sessions. Uh, we'll talk about the processional, which is the grand entrance you all will be making into the opening business session. We'll go over some procedures you will need to be aware of in business sessions. And then finally, some last informational odds and ends. Um, I'll be asking for questions as we move through each section tonight, but please do indicate to Amanda any question you may be wondering about at any time. Uh, tonight is really all about getting you the information that you'll need to feel prepared once convention begins. And I know what a busy time of year this is. I'm sure that your to-do list is just as full as mine. So my plan tonight is just to give you this information in a real straightforward way, and we should be through it pretty quickly. So with that, let's jump in. So here we have some lovely models demonstrating proper regalia att attire. Um, I should mention that the photos I'm using here are actually from our 2012 convention because I was busy directing people in 2014 and I didn't take any photos last convention. So for some of you, that won't really matter at all. And for some of you, you can think of this as a little stroll down memory lane. Robe pickup information will be found in the convention program. But for those of you who like to know the game plan early, robe pickup uh, here on your screen. Pickup will take place on Wednesday, June 22nd from 2.30 to 3.45 p.m. in Marina G. Corey Woods is returning as our Kappa concierge again, and she has asked me to relay that if you know that you are arriving later than this time on Wednesday, she would appreciate it if you would make arrangements either with a province director partner or with a friend who's also picking up robes to pick up your robe for you at the same time. Uh, Corey and her crack team on the concierge committee will be ironing robes for council members and former fraternity presidents. But for everyone else, please take the time to iron your robe on Wednesday night. You will be wearing it at all five business sessions. So, starting at the top, your mortarboard is worn only at the opening and closing business sessions. So that will be Thursday morning and Saturday afternoon of convention. It is to be worn flat on your head with the top surface parallel to the floor. And this is going to feel weird. So a couple of bobby pins to secure it is a good idea so that you aren't worried about it slipping as you walk. However, know that you will be removing your mortarboard after the opening ritual and devotional. So don't get too crazy with the bobby pins. So you will be wearing robes and I'm confident that you can find your way into your robe. I just wanted to include more smiling faces here. Your hood indicates your role within the fraternity. So rather than taking the time tonight to describe all of the various hoods that are worn at convention, I will just say that I know that Corey and her team will have the correct hood waiting for you on the 22nd. Now, if anyone would like to know in advance what hood to expect, please email me and I will be happy to connect you with Corey or share that information with you. As you can see here in the picture, the hood is worn over your head. It's hanging down your back. Um, just 
please help each other out and make sure that your hood is hanging evenly. Fraternity council members also wear the symbol of her office. This is worn on the left breast. Your badge is worn above the insignia. Province directors wear the Greek letter indicating your province. Regional directors wear the number of your region. Your badge must also be worn on your robe. And that again, that's above the insignia. It's a good idea to remember bubble guards, of course. You can wear your badge of office on your robe and then your personal badge on your clothes underneath. I know a, a lot of people do that. Um, please do remember to remove those badges before you return your robe at the end of convention. And as with pretty much everything in life, help each other out and everything will be fine. As a reminder, you will be wearing white attire and that's including white shoes for the opening and closing business sessions under your robes. For the other three sessions, it will be business casual attire under your robes. But, but do keep in mind, if you're sitting in a business session, you've got a robe on. And your friendly Kappa concierge has also asked me to insert a respectful request at this point to ask for your patience when you're returning those robes at the end of convention. As she said to me the other day, please tell them not to throw and go because they need to make sure that they've checked in all the regalia properly. So thank you in advance for your patience and cooperation with this. Are there any questions at this point about regalia? Julie, could we please uh, re-clarify where the robe pickup location is going to be? Yep, absolutely. It is in Marina G. And on Wednesday, the 22nd, that's from 2.30 to 3.45. And all of that information can be found in your convention program. It also can be found on the convention calendar, on the convention website, too. I believe we're having uh, more clarification that it should be Marina 6, not G. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Nope. Was that like no me problem. trying to read something really small late at night? Okay. You know what? This is also a good time for me to mention that uh, probably two weeks prior to convention, I will be mailing or emailing to all of you um, kind of a protocol handout that will include some of the um, highlights, the important information that you need to know regarding what we're talking about tonight. Um, just for those of you who are visual learners like I am and it helps you to see it. So I will make sure to get that correct on that handout. But thank you very much for that. Uh, will the robe drop off the same location? Yep, same location. Marina 6. <laughs> and uh, we have a question about what if we wear all keys on a ribbon? Where should, um, should only one be worn or on the robe or should we take it off? Oh, oh, that's a great question. You know, um, so I guess here's the first thing I will say. I will look into that detail and I will follow up with um, follow up with whomever is asking that question. Amanda, if you can find out who that is that's wonder wondering that, I can make sure to follow up directly um, with that person. And I can also include the answer when I email the entire group, because I'm sure there are more than one of you that have multiple badges that you wear in that way. Um, so I guess that's probably the best answer is to just say, I'll double check that and get back with you. My sense is that I don't re recall seeing people wearing the ribbons on their robes. So maybe that's something that's worn underneath, but that's just me going by my working memory. So I'll be sure to clarify that and then follow up again. Thank you for that good question. Great, thank you. That's all that we have for right now. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so then we are going to move on to the processional. So I guess this is my first thing to say here, um, and it's a request. Please be familiar with all the information regarding the processional and the business session prior to the start of convention. So I mentioned that I would be emailing a handout to you, um, and that should hopefully 
give you that important information and answer any questions that you might have. Also, in addition to that, uh, to help with this effort of making you feel prepared, we will have a protocol meeting on Wednesday, June 22nd from 4 to 5 p.m. and that's in Convention Hall, which is the Grand Ballroom. Um, I also want to point out that the doors open at 345 and really I'm asking you to arrive at 345 because I know what I do when I reconnect with Kappa sisters after a long absence. There are hugs and questions about families and catching up on lives and looking at pictures of growing children or grandchildren. So from 345 until 4 o'clock, that's your time for all of that important stuff to happen. And then at 4 o'clock, we'll get right down to business. So let's talk about the processional. As I mentioned, this is the grand entrance that you all will make at the start of the opening business session. As you no doubt already know, <clears throat> there is a specific order in which you all will process into Convention Hall, and here it is. <laughs> so that's a pretty big list. I know that this is a lot to take in and it's probably difficult if not impossible for you to read this. So again, this is going to be a part of that email that I'll send to you before you leave for convention so that you can print it out and bring it right along with you to our protocol meeting on the 22nd. Um, even though the font size is much too small to be helpful here, I, I wanted to include this like this because I wanted to give you the scope of our processional. There are just under 100 women who will be lining up and proceeding in together. So your cooperation is really crucial. The most important thing for you to know is who's around you, who's beside you, who's in front of you, who's behind you. And then once we're lined up, please, please stay in line. Uh, in general, the order in which you process will be the American and Canadian flags, followed by the province directors, followed by the regional directors, followed by the NPC flag bearer and NPC delegate, followed by the Kappa flag bearer, and finally fraternity council members. Your email document, again, will include this entire processional. When you are entering the convention hall, your hands are empty, as you can see here. So you've got two options. You can enter convention hall before 8.30 on Thursday morning and place your bag and personal items under your chair. Or you can have a friend who is not in the processional carry your things into the hall for you and leave them at your spot. At 8.30 sharp, we will begin forming the processional and that will take place in the Nautilus foyer, which is just outside of Convention Hall. And again, um, I'm really asking for your punctuality here because if we're late, everyone and everything is late. Um, and just another little note too, and I'm sure you'll hear me remind you, it'll be important that when we're forming that processional, we're doing it real quietly as Convention Hall begins to fill. Are there any questions at this point about the processional? We don't have any questions at this moment. Perfect. So at our uh, protocol meeting on the 22nd, we'll be practicing that processional and we'll kind of go through how the meeting will open so that you're comfortable with the proceedings. For tonight, there are just a few points of information to share just to help you kind of feel like you've got an idea of what's coming. Uh, first, your chairs will be marked for meetings. So the standards, the flags that you see here, indicating your province will be beside your chair. I will have a card with your name on it on your chair prior to each meeting to help you find your place. And in the interest of being kind to our planet, if you would please leave your card under your chair after every meeting, I'll collect those and reuse them again and again. So the seating will be explained in more detail at our protocol meeting, but in general, when you're looking at your seating row, and if you're working in from the aisle, province directors from provinces that are split into separate areas will sit south, then central, then north, or west, then central, 
than east, depending on um, whichever applies to your province. Or if you are from Theta province, you sit in the following order. Again, starting from the aisle and going in west, east, south, and then north. In case you're interested, I spoke with Denise Ragani a couple of years ago when she was history chairman and asked her about the seating rationale. And as best as the two of us could figure out, this order was determined so that the area of the province that is closest to our headquarters in Ohio enters convention hall first except for Theta Province. And to be honest, I haven't ever been able to really track down a solid reason for how Theta Province arrangements were decided. So, so there you go. So to get back to the business session, for those of you who are province directors, in the past province directors have also created cards with their delegates names and chapters or associations and then placed those cards on chairs in their rows so that your delegates can easily find their correct spot when they enter convention hall. And this is actually a great idea because remember, at that first session, you won't be there to direct them because you'll be out in the Nautilus foyer lining up. So once the meeting is underway, after the opening ritual and the devotional, Beth will thank the devotionalist and then she removes her mortarboard. And that is your signal to whisk away those couple of bobby pins and remove your mortarboard as well. After the mortarboards are removed, the standards come down. So this makes it much easier for people towards the back of the hall to see. Now, our tradition is that in opening business session, once the mortarboards are removed, province standards are lowered in domino fashion. So it will start at the front of convention hall with alpha and beta on either side of the aisle. They'll remove their standards or lower their standards and then all the others follow behind them, kind of like the wave at a football game. At all other business sessions, after the opening business session, the standards are lowered after the devotion is read. And then at the end of each meeting, the standards are replaced so they won't be stepped on. At the conclusion of the closing business session, so the last session of convention, when the ritual is complete, the standards are replaced as the flag bearers approach the front of convention hall. And again, these details, I know we're, I'm talking through them rather quickly, but those will all be included in that handout that will be emailed to you. Anyone have any questions at this point? We don't have any questions at this time. Great. So a couple of other bits of information for you. Uh, first of all, note that there will be five business sessions at this convention, as opposed to the four that we've generally had in the past. So once again, if we're thinking about seating, uh, chapter delegates and province directors of chapters will sit in the front of convention hall at the opening business session, uh, the Thursday afternoon business session when the bylaws are presented, and then finally at the closing business session. And alumni delegates and province directors of alumni will sit forward in convention hall at the Friday and Saturday morning business sessions. Also, this is a no frills meeting situation. So province directors may leave index cards on delegate seats to assist with the correct arrangement of delegates like we were mentioning a minute ago, but please do not leave gifts or treats of any kind for your delegates. And there is no food or drink allowed in convention hall. Now, as you all no doubt know, convention is a large scale production with hundreds and hundreds of women in attendance and important work to accomplish. So we really rely on all of us as a team to convey to those delegates and to model the message that we run on time. So please do instruct your delegates and participants to arrive a few minutes before the designated time for all meetings and events throughout convention. And then finally, uh, please make a note of the reminder that you see on the screen. You need to bring the copy of the proposed bylaws that um, have been mailed to you. There will not be hard copies of that document available in Convention Hall. So be sure to add that to your packing list, move those shoes over in your suitcase, and 
put that uh, copy of bylaws in there and bring it along to convention. Are there any last questions that we can address tonight? We don't have any questions at this time. Great. Well, I don't know about you, but all of these pictures are getting me excited for a convention. The last thing I have to tell you is just thank you again very much for taking time from your busy schedules tonight to be here for this quick check-in uh, and to help get us ready for a terrific week all together in San Diego in just a few short weeks from now. Um, thanks again to Amanda, our terrific producer, and please do contact me if I can help you in any way related to protocol. And I will see you all soon in San Diego. Good night. Thank you to our presenter, Julie, for leading the session, and thank you, for, thank you for your participation tonight. If you have any questions or comments about tonight's topic, you may email the presenter directly using the contact information on your screen. As we close the webinar, a survey will open on your screen. You will be prompted to respond to a few evaluation questions. Please take a moment to share your thoughts on tonight's webinar. Your feedback will help us shape future webinar training events. If you have any additional questions or comments whatsoever, you can send an email to the Education Department, education at kkg.org. Thank you, everyone, and have a good night.